be honest, I think everybody's going to feel this one way or another. Um, and so, you know, I was going to come on and do a live for my middle-aged sisters about something else. And here I am having to do something totally different. I'm just going with what I feel called to share today. And it's in, all, it's, it's in this context of the fragility of our lives as human beings, guys. We say it at the beginning of each year, we say it at the end of each each year, we say it at the end of each day, we say it at the end of each week. Nobody is promised tomorrow. That's just a fact. Um, this is not trying to fear manga, but nobody's promised tomorrow. We have, we have evidence of that around us all the time. Um, and I just wanted to use this moment as a moment of reflection with you guys, again, just about... What are we focusing our energy and our time on in the time that we have left here on earth? Maybe if I was younger, uh, maybe in my 20s, this is not the kind of conversation that I would come on live to have. But as it is, I've lived some years and I am now, what, 47? Um, I'd like to say a, good, a fair bit, in fact, a good bit of my life is behind me now. And I'm one of those who sits in a situation where probably, you know, the sunset years are looking, are facing me. And the question is, again, what are we choosing to do? What are we spending the rest of the time that we do have left on this planet engaging in? And this is not to say that everybody should be doing the same thing or everybody should be doing what I do or everybody should be engaged in the, with the world the way I engage with the world. Not at all. The reason I ask that question is literally just as a challenge to each and every person, whoever you are, wherever you are at, whatever stage you are in your life, to just give yourself a moment to reflect on whether the life you are living is the life that you want to be living. I think that is so crucial because I cannot think of anything more tragic than coming to the end of your life and realizing that the life that you were living is not the life that you wanted. And the reason I say that is because many of us have come to the life that we wanted to live later rather than sooner. I think it's a journey. I think it's a process. I don't think that many people come into a certain life, uh, a way of being and say, okay, this is how I want to live my life and that's it. I think we all grow, we evolve, we change. But at some point, that question has to come up. Am I living the life that I have always wanted to live? This may not be the life you imagined, right? Because sometimes life is never what you imagined it to be. But is it of the quality? Is it of the type of life? Are you engaged in the things that make you happy and bring you satisfaction? Because I just want to say right here and now that if you are engaged, if you are living any kind of life that you do not want to live, if you're living any kind of life where you are filled with regrets, where you wish you could be doing something else, I'd say, Life's too short to spend wishing. Wishing doesn't serve anything or anyone. Move. Do something about it while you still have a chance. I believe everybody is born on this planet to live their best life, to fulfill their potential, whatever that looks like. Um, I believe every single waking moment we have is an opportunity to start over or to continue or to get better. And so if you're finding yourself in a space or a place where none of those things can happen for you, I'd say move. Life is way too short. Life is so fickle and so fragile. You could be talking to me today. I could be gone tomorrow. And I'm not saying that to be funny or anything, but these are facts. We cannot run away from the facts of our existence on this planet as human beings. It is one of those facts that we have to face that uh, we could be together today and we won't be seeing each other tomorrow. And so I have five quick things that I really just thought I'm going to come and hammer them. One of the things, let, let's, let's, let's hone in on the good, guys. Let's, let's hone in on the good and let's give ourselves and those we love and the people around us and our communities, our nations, our world, an opportunity by starting with ourselves. Here are some things you can do that you can, in fact, things you can quit doing right now as of today and promise yourself from now moving forward, this is what I'm going to do to make best use of the time that I have left here on earth. One, quit engaging in negative conversations. Just quit. You find yourself in a negative conversation, walk away. You find somebody starts, walk away. 
Quit being the one who starts negative conversations. Nothing good comes from negativity. Absolutely nothing. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. And all it does is creates more negative energy into a world that already has enough negative energy. The other thing you can do is quit thinking you cannot do anything. Quit. As I challenge right here, and I'm going to challenge again, if you are in a life that doesn't feel like yours, if you are in a life that is not satisfying, if you are in a life that makes you cry every single day, if you are in a life that makes you wish you were somebody else or somewhere else, move, do something about it. And quit believing that you cannot do anything. As long as you have human life in your body, as long as you're sitting here watching me right now, right here, you can do something to change the circumstances of your life. And only you can do that. No one's coming to save you. The other thing is, quit saying I cannot afford it. Quit saying you cannot afford it. You'd rather say not right now, but don't say you cannot afford it. Because guess what? There are people who've gone to their graves today who have so much money in the bank who could have been saying, I cannot afford this, that, and the next thing. You're not taking it with you. You're not taking any of it with you. Give yourself the experiences and the things that you want on this earth. I'm not saying be crazy and go and, you know, go and like empty your bank account just because. But what I am saying is, can you please afford yourselves the things that you want and need in this life? Because this is the only life we have to live. There is no other life coming where you're saying, I'm saving this so that tomorrow or the next life I can spend it. Am I making some kind of sense? Let's keep perspective. And let's, not making, let's stop making things the most important aspect of our lives. Let's not make acquiring things the thing that we go for. Let's focus on creating healthy, happy relationships. Quit thinking that accumulating material wealth is going to fill that hole in your heart. It's not. That hole in your heart is human shaped. It's not material things shaped. It's not Mercedes Benz shaped. It's not Louis Vuitton bag shaped. It's human shaped. That hole in your heart is a yearning for a connection with other human beings. Can we quit the hating? Can we quit the being fussy and petty? And can we try to make some human connections while we still have the time? Quit waiting to get into action. Get into action today. If you've been sitting on a project that you said you would do on the 1st or 2nd, 3rd of January, it is almost the end of the month and you have not started and you are not in action. Get into action. If it's your health and wellness journey, I'm not even going to let up on this one. Get into action. No more excuses. No one is wanting to hear them. Not even you. You are sick and tired of your own excuses, so stop making them. Get into action. We don't have that much time to faff around. Quit visualizing the worst case scenario. Anytime you start doing something, Calamity Jane, stop saying, oh my God, this will never work. Oh my God, I failed before I'm going to fail again. Oh my God, there's no way I'll ever be able to be like so-and-so. Stop comparing your journey to anyone else's. This is your journey, your unique journey. And when your time is up, it's you who's going to go. And when your time is up, it's you who answerable for the time you spent on this earth, how you spent it, with whom you spent it, and what value or legacy you left behind. Nobody's going to care who said what and who did what, who had better than you, who had more than you, who had less than you. That won't matter anymore. What matters is the here and now. And you getting into gear and doing whatever it is that's on your heart to do for yourself, for someone else, for your family, for whoever. This is it. Tomorrow may not come. I love you guys. I just needed to come and share this right now. And I will speak to you tomorrow. Have a blessed one.